Hello everyone and welcome to day two of 100 days of code in IoT challenge. Today I'm going to build the simplest circuit uh, that consists of this microcontroller you're probably familiar with from yesterday. Uh, today I'm, I'm gonna use the breadboard. Uh, this small green diode, LED diode and a few wires to connect everything up. I know this is still nothing really fancy. It's not really IoT yet. There is not gonna be really any connectivity, but don't worry, we will get to the more complex project. Uh, for now, my goal is to familiarize uh, myself and everyone with the basic hardware and the basic software. So don't worry, again, we will get there. However, for today, let me just do a quick presentation on what actually what we actually have. Okay, let me let me show you the hardware again and then give a quick explanation about the certain parts. And uh, let's let's just build this circuit. It's quite simple. Okay, so what we're gonna start with is uh, basically microcontroller. You know this already. This is this is our control unit, right? So it doesn't need. Uh, an actual explanation and uh, yeah we've got the diode here right its purpose is basically to generate light so again not going to explain much in details and uh, we have breadboard and for breadboard let me just quickly explain uh, what it is and how it works so as you can see it's just a a small piece of, of plastic and we have those small holes in here. It is it is used for, for prototyping, uh, building prototypes of electrical circuits. Uh, so yeah, the way this works is just, you know, uh, the purpose is to be able to connect uh, wires uh, through those holes, just stick in, and uh, some of those uh, holes are, are connected. There is a pattern of of connection in here. So le let me just start from from this uh, four columns. So we have plus, minus, and again plus, minus, and this th these are connected uh, along those lines, right? So we have plus, and all of those holes here are connected with each other. The same happens for minus, and obviously it's exactly the same on the other side. And plus and minus holes are not connected, so only along those lines. Okay, in the middle, on the, it works a little bit different. So yeah, as you can see, uh, we have numbers here for the rows, and we have uh, letters for, for the columns, right? From A to J, from 1 to 30, right? The way those holes are connected in here is basically along the rows. So we have row 1, for example, and everything from, from 1A to 1E is connected, and then from, from 1F to 1J, right? So this is, this is actually important. This, this line is not connected with this line. These are not connected. And the same pattern is actually happening for for two, three, four, and so on. And uh, and again, one and two, two and three, and so on. They're not connected, so it's just like this, and then this. All right? Okay. So this is for the breadboard. Uh, yeah, there's still like got those two wires. They're gonna be useful for our circuit and the USB cable to connect our our board to to the computer. Okay, let me just quickly uh, build this build this circuit. So we're gonna start with breadboard, and what we want to do is to uh, take our microcontroller and. Uh, Stick it inside the board, right? So, but it's important to leave, you know, one line of holes on this side and one of holes on the, the other side. So yeah, let's just put it like this, 
right? We have the the USB port outwards, out, outwards, right? Okay, so what you have to do is push firmly, like I've just done. Okay, nice. Right, and what we want to do right now is to locate uh, the digital pins. They start from letter D, so we have D0 up to D8, which is here. And what we want to do is to take the, the shorter cable, the shorter wire, right, and stick it into D1. Is it D1? Yeah, it is D1. And then somewhere here outside. Now I'm gonna take the, the diode, the LED diode. This is actually quite important, so we're looking for the for the longer wire here. And we're going to stick it along this row here, right? Where the where our wire is connected. We're gonna have one uh, one hole in between and the other end of the diode is it's going to be connected it's just actually row 24 and now I'm taking the the longer wire right and yeah, I'm just gonna put it here it doesn't matter which hole right it can be can be the next one or there as I said before these are connected and now what we want to do is to locate the pin that is called ground, which is G and D, and that's basically connecting there, is going to close close our our circuit. Uh, the last part, which is it, it is basically connecting USB here, so now I can connect it to com to the computer, and we can build a sketch. Um, so yeah, what we've got here uh, is Visual Studio Code, I've already opened it and I'm just going to uh, click here on the recent project, which is uh, what we did yesterday. Let's just quickly modify it as a first step. That should be quite, quite simple. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, just replace, let me just close all of those notifications, we don't also need the, the home screen from platform IO. Okay, so let me just change this uh, pin, mode, pin mode first argument from LED built into D1 which is the digital pin that we have connected our uh, our diode to. And I'm going to change this also for, for digital write, the first one and the second one. Okay. Right, so yeah, we're just gonna keep for now the low voltage, high voltage and the uh, one second interval. Okay, let's just uh, connect the device to my computer, just connecting it. And okay, this is connected and now I'm going to deploy uh, my sketch quickly. Okay, that's done. And uh, I, I actually, I can see it blinking. I'm just gonna show you quickly on this camera here. But yeah, let me, let me show you on the different view. So as you can see, it is actually blinking here. Right. Okay, cool. Let's modify our sketch a little bit because you know, just blinking is a bit boring. So, you know, it's, it's just blinking, right? But with a little bit of creativity, we can make it blinking in a certain way. I have this idea, let's make it blinking hello world in a Morse code. So yeah, let me just find something here. Morse code on Wikipedia. Because yeah, I personally don't know Morse code, uh, to be honest. 
But yeah, we can just, just use information from Wikipedia. So we got this international Morse code. And what we're going to do for this is basically, uh, let me just minimize this one. Let's just find the letters that we want to use, which is going to be uh, basically a H. So for H, uh, it's just four dots, right? Then we have E, and E is very simple. It's just a single dot. L, we just need we, we just need one L. So that's gonna be dot dash and two dots. And then we don't need. I mean, we have L already, so let's do O now. Again, simple one, three dashes, and uh, yeah, we need W, which is dot and two dashes. And all we have R, which is dot, dash, uh, sorry, dash and uh, dot again. Yeah. And L, uh, L is dot dash and dot dot. Yeah, again, that's L. And the last letter we need is D, which is basically dash and two dots. Okay, so yeah, we got we got the Morse code. And now let's figure out how we're going to do this. So, so first of all, my idea uh, will be to create two functions, which is going to create two void functions for one for dot and the second one we're going to need for dash, right? And the idea is basically to switch the light on for the certain amount of time. For the dot is going to be shorter, for the dash is going to be basically longer. Uh, the way we're going to do it is basically digital write. So we're going to use D1 and we're going to switch it to high. And then we're going to do a delay, which is going to be 250 milliseconds. And then we're going to change this D1 to back to low. So switch the light off, right? And after that, you want to do some delay to have like, you know, this delay, delay between, between the uh, between the dots and dashes itself, right? So let's make it. Let's make it. A, um, let's make it a constant for now. Or maybe I just put two fifty as well for now, because we're probably gonna have to change this in a second. Uh, but yeah, let's let's do the dash quickly. So that's digital right, and we're gonna do high delay, and this time. I'm going to set delay to something bigger. So let's do 600. Um, and then another digital write to low. And again, delay 250 as for the delay between those uh, those or dashes. OK, one thing that I need to uh, modify here a little bit is like, as you can see, after this dot, for example, or after this dash, we need to have a slightly longer gap, right? So that's going to be a slightly longer time you want to wait. So my idea is uh, maybe we can just define a Boolean argument here. I'm going to call it is last. I'm going to put the false as a default value. And basically, if it is last, if it's true, I'm going to put a slightly longer uh, time that we're going to delay. And this is basically going to be exactly the same here. 
So we got this as well in the same way. And the time is basically going to be exactly the same. So I'm just going to copy paste that. Okay. So you got this. I'm not going to be writing any, any sophisticated and super performant code, performant code. So we're just going to have a function for a, for every single letter. So yeah, I'm going to start from H. Again, that's going to be void. And what we have here is just four dots, right? So I'm just going to add dot and just copy it four times. Uh, but the last one is the last one. So we want to pass through. Then E. And E is just a dot, I think. Yeah, it is just a dot. So it's going to be dot and true, right? Then we're going to do L. Sorry, uh, here L. And L is just uh, a dot. Okay, guys, yeah, let me just speed it up a little bit because, you know, that's it's just lots of dots and dashes. Uh, let me just speed it up a little bit. Okay, yeah, so it's ready. And now what I'm gonna do is basically uh, just write here, uh, hello world, and put a delay in between those words. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep one, we're gonna keep one uh, print ln, it's just gonna be hello world, and that's gonna happen just at the end. So that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna happen repeatedly, right? We're going to we're going we are doing it in the loop uh, function, and here it's just gonna be h e l l o, and then we have delay slightly longer. Let's make make it one second, and then it's gonna be w o. R, L, and D, and then we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have our print ln, and let's do uh, another delay in between those uh, in between those uh, calls of the of the loop. Okay, so now let me just quickly. Uh, deploy it. Oh, there is an issue here. There is a problem with with L, which is uh, uh L is probably done already. Yeah, so I don't need L. Just defined it twice. And let's do it. Okay, building. Okay, as you can see, it is blinking the hello world. Let me just show you the serial monitor as well. So we are just going to connect. We are connected. Let's wait a little bit and we should see hello world. So yeah, hello world appeared and it basically starts again. Okay, so yeah, that was fun. Okay, that's everything for today. Tomorrow we're going to build something with the input. So we're going to control the diode with the button. Uh, thank you for watching. You can find links to the parts I'm using and to the code in the description of the video. Uh, if you're interested, you can subscribe and if you have any suggestions, feedback, uh, please leave a comment. Cheers. Bye.